August 8, 2014, was the day Five Nights at Freddy's was created. It was a horror masterpiece. But people questioned, what is the software used to make this game? Unity? Game Maker? Possibly Unreal Engine? But the answer was rather shocking. It was some unknown software called Click Team Fusion. It was used to make some other games, but we don't care. People wanted to try it out, but... <laughs> so only the rich kids could buy it, but what made it so expensive? The basic version cost $70 and the plus version cost $150. It should be revolutionary, right? Well, no, because even with the standard plus version, you'll get their logo plastered on the screen of the game. You will have to buy the developer upgrade to remove that logo and be able to edit the EXE files. Oh, if you thought you can buy the developer version without the standard version, you can't. You have to buy the $100 one and the $300 upgrade. And it doesn't even have proper dark mode. It doesn't make the project dark mode, only the hub. And it also hasn't been updated for 13 years. Yes, it's working 13 years. But the real question is, why is the community so attached to it? Especially the FNEF community. And the answer is that it doesn't require coding. It's also easier to make those type of games. Even if you want to learn it, you're gonna suffer because there isn't any good tutorials. Most of them are either super old oh my God. or the person making the video has a really bad mic. Hello guys! But if you have the money and can't be blinded by light mode, it's a pretty good software considering that it's easy to pick up. Well that's my rant about Click Team Fusion. It could make a comeback if it wasn't so expensive. Subscribe.